As the day began, an estimated 3,600 boats were strung out between Key West and Cuba. In the afternoon, severe thunderstorms pounded into the Florida Straits. The rain came in sheets. Winds were clocked at 79 miles per hour as the impromptu evacuation fleet tried to make it across 90 miles of treacherous ocean. Some boats, none of the smallest okay, ones, made it back safely to Key West without the refugees they had been planning to pick up. Alongside the docks where nearly 3,000 refugees arrived earlier, people waited anxiously for more family members from Cuba and for the boatmen who went to get them. We saw it now and now it's disappearing also. They must be in the water. <laughs> One of the boatmen, the husband of Maritza Reyes of Miami. Of course, he's out there on a 22-foot boat. He has no radio, and uh, he has no experience. He has no idea what he's doing out there. He went to get his sister. My nerves are shattered, but I have it in the hands of God. What I can't do anything about it. Even before the weather went bad, the Coast Guard was searching for two refugee boats reported sinking. One was said to have 200 people aboard. Searchers did find a boat about the size of this one, capsized in an area where a refugee boatload of 10 had been reported sinking. They saw no people, just one life jacket. The boat lift has no real organization and is in defiance of the U.S. government, so no one has been keeping a list of all the boats involved. It could be days before some even are missed, and more bad weather is expected. Phil Bremen, NBC News, Key West.